Yo, what's going on people, Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your Radeon graphics for gaming on any computer. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to watch it till the end. Don't forget to skip any part for better results. Also, do leave your specs in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, let's begin with the first step that is keeping your windows up to date. And for that, you need to head over to your settings, go down to windows update and make sure that your windows is up to date. If not, you will find updates available to install and make sure to keep updating all of them. Since windows 11 has a little bugs and windows keep on fixing those bugs and get new updates every now and then to optimize the performance. So if you're not on windows 11, I would definitely suggest you guys to switch to windows 11. It has much better performance. Also. Keep Keep your windows up to date. Step number two is deanimating your windows and this is as important as keeping your windows updated. Windows by default has a lot of animations and you do not want those animations because it really slows your windows down if you have a really low end computer. And for that you need to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows right into your search bar and performance option will open right in front of you. Now what you're looking for is click on adjust for best performance, select show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. This will improve your performance right away. Right after that you will find the advanced section over here and for the processor schedule link you need to make sure that it is set to programs instead of background services. Once it is done simply click on apply and close performance options. Step number 3 is downloading the AMD Radeon software which is right in the description below you can go and click on the link and you will be coming to this page which is the AMD software. What you need to do is click on the download now button and you have to select your Radeon graphics right from here. If you do not already know your graphics card, you can simply download the Windows drivers which will auto detect the driver and update it to the latest version or you can simply search for your driver manually and download and update your GPU drivers. Now once you download it and update your drivers to the latest version for your GPU, you need to follow the best settings. So once you're on your desktop, what you need to do is right click and click on the AMD software. Once you're here, Make sure to go over to the settings and follow the same graphic settings. Set your graphic profile to gaming and disable the super resolution. Then for anti-lag, make sure to keep it on. Scroll down and make sure to enable image scaling and set it to somewhere between 70 or 80. Then for vertical refresh, make sure to keep it always off. For anti-aliasing, use application settings and for the method, go for multi-sampling. Scroll down, for texture filtering, keep it performance and surface format optimization should be enabled. Then for tessellation and maximum tessellation level, keep it 2x and override system settings and clear the shader cache. Then move over to the display settings and make sure that FreeSync Premium is enabled. This is really important so make sure to do it. For custom color, you can enable it and set your saturation all the way up to 150 or 60 as this will increase the color efficiency of your games. Then head over and disable color deficiency correction as well as display color enhancement. Go over to the hotkey section and make sure to disable it since it is really buggy when playing the games. Then scroll over to record and stream and then make sure to record display is turned off as well as instant replay is turned off as it will give you the best FPS possible whenever you're playing the game. For performance, make sure to keep it as it is and preferences. You have to go and disable the in-game overlay, web browser, system tray menu, advertisements and toast notifications. Also, keep always on top turned off, animations and effects should be turned off. Go over to the performance section and then into the tuning section. Here you will find your installed GPU if you have it on your PC. Now what you need to do is enable the smart access memory and that should be helping you guys a lot. So these were the best settings for your AMD graphics card. Once you've applied them, go to the desktop. Next step is creating a restore point. This is really essential so make sure to click on create a restore point on your PC. Look for your local disk C or any drive it says system. Click on create and name it Radeon just so you know it and then simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because in case your PC doesn't perform well after performing these settings, you always have an option to restore your PC back to normal without any data loss. So make sure to do it and not skip this part. Once it is done, simply click on close, close system properties and then last final step is the Radeon optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can go and download it from there. 
Once you downloaded and opened it up, you will find in two simple folders. First one is the registry files and second one is the batch files. You need to open up the first folder which has all of the registries as well as the stock registries if you do not like it. You can simply run the AMD CPU priority. This will prioritize your CPU. This will increase your CPU speed. This will remove your GPU energy driver. This will increase your power efficiency for your computer and whole and this will optimize your thread priority in both your cpu and gpu so you need to run all of these registries you can simply right click and go to show more options and merge it or you can simply double click to run it as administrator once you're done applying all of these registries go back to the second folder which is the batch files in here you will find a clean temporary files batch file what you need to do is right click and run this as administrator once you open it up you will find a simple pop-up like this it will ask you to delete all temporary files you can simply press any key and it will start removing all of the unnecessary and unwanted files on your pc which are taking your RAM into use and you do not really need them so it's safe to delete it so just do it. Next is the Bearfox PC Tweaker. You need to run this as well as administrator. This will start applying all of the necessary edits to optimize your PC and once it is done, it will automatically close and now your PC will be optimized for gaming. Now once you're done applying all of those settings, I definitely hope that you will see performance increase on your PC and if you did make sure to do leave your experience in the comments below also if you're facing any queries make sure to do leave them in the comments so I can reply to each one of you individually with that said we have reached to the end of this video if you want more information over Intel or Nvidia GPUs I have made dedicated videos for both of them on my channel you can go and check it out we'll see you guys in another video until then stay tuned keep watching Bear Fox and peace out